Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, run through uh, the on-screen takeoff um, beginning now. So um, if, uh, if you have any issues, just, just come back to me either via, via audio or via the uh, little chat box at the bottom of your control panel. Okay, um, so we're going to begin uh, by having, having a look at um, where the BTOS module can be activated. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's a 2D um, uh, takeoff system um, that allows you to be able to um, do your takeoff directly from drawings on screen. Um, the on-screen on -screen takeoff system is a tool to measure quantities from electronic drawings. Uh, files that would be supported would be CAD files, um, PDF files, bitmaps, JPEGs, any uh, image file um, that contains a drawing. Uh, type of results that can be returned would be counts, lineal meters, uh, lineal meters less oaks, uh, areas, uh, wall areas, uh, vertical wall areas, less oaks, uh, volumes, and so forth. So what we're going to do is just initially have a look at where the BTAS module can be activated. Uh, and in essence, really, the BTAS module can be activated anywhere in Billsoft a calculation sheet exists. So um, you should be seeing on your screen there the uh, job manager screen uh, in Billsoft. So, um, the, the initial uh, section that you can activate the BTOS module is in the floor area sheet. And I'll, I'll just activate that. And uh, when you're in the floor area sheet, uh, the BTOS module can be activated. Uh, up the top left-hand corner, you'll see uh, a BTOS icon. Uh, that would be area one that the BTOS module can be activated. Area two would be when you open a job and you go to the global sheet which is this uh, icon here, uh, the BTOS module can be activated from there as well. So in essence, really, um, anywhere in Billsoft that a quantity can be calculated or returned, the BTOS module can be activated. So the two kind of not so often used options would be the ground floor area sheet and the global sheet. Uh, and then, as you'd expect, through the normal calculation sheets in Billsoft, um, the BTOS module can also be activated there. So what you're looking at on screen here is uh, a job I've set up uh, with a single element name called webinar element name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up that element and uh, bring it to the uh, trade breakup or the bill level. And we're going to have a look firstly at uh, the process of taking off an area type calculation. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drill down uh, on this um, uh, first line where I have the description built after my home and uh, take off area. Drill down behind the quantity and uh, it is always um, good practice to uh, annotate your takeoff as best as you can. So in the calculation sheet here, I've, what I've done is I've called uh, my takeoff uh, floor area study. So at this point in time, once I'm in my calculation sheet, I can then activate the BTOS module by clicking on the BTOS icon uh, on the button bar at the top. So I'm going to do that, and what will happen is um, uh, the BTOS module will launch, and uh, before I begin doing any takeoff, I just want to explain the different component parts of the BTOS module itself. Firstly, uh, having a look at uh, the screen itself, across the top, you have the menu bar. Now, you'll be familiar with this, whatever your software application that you use. Um, all the functions that are available in the BTAS are available on the menu bar. By clicking one of the options, uh, you'll see, um, you'll see uh, all the various uh, options on the menus um, that are available to you. So the menu bar is the top item, um, and it would be consistent with any other um, uh, software application. The second section um, directly below the menu bar is what we call the status bar. And uh, it's a crucial element uh, in BTOS. Uh, what you've got initially on the status bar is the type of takeoff that you're doing. 
and you can see that uh, it's initially set to area although you can uh, change that uh, takeoff type to whatever type of takeoff you would normally or you, you're trying to complete. Uh, beside that you have the result. So when you do your takeoff, um, the total result will be displayed here in the status bar. And then moving to the right here, what you have are four options to allow you to um, uh, indicate the line color, line thickness, shade color, and shade pattern. Then moving across to the status bar, you're gonna, it's going to list in here the particular drawing that you are going to use, and then various other settings with regard to what type of result, whether it's exact, round up, round down. Uh, and then there are some uh, items here with regard to um, uh, ortho, point latch, line latch, and so forth, which uh, I'll cover as we progress. Um, the third menu, um, which is uh, a shortcut, let's say, menu to the functions that would be displayed on the menu bar, is called the toolbar. And this toolbar can be, can be uh, detached and moved around the screen uh, as you need by grabbing the bar on the right hand side here. You can grab it and you can move it away uh, from the screen and you can ma manipulate it uh, as you need to and move it wherever, it, uh, wherever you need to do to maybe move it out of the way of the drawing. If you need to attach it again, you simply grab it, move it to the top and drop it again. So the toolbar, um, which is the last option, uh, is a shortcut button bar to all of the options that would appear on uh, on the menu bar. So the toolbar would be the most commonly used uh, toolbar in the system. Um, and then the uh, body uh, of the of the screen is called the drawing uh, drawing area or drawing screen. And obviously this is the this is the section where you uh, call up your drawing and do your take on. So we're going to have a look uh, initially at the takeoff of an area. Uh, and just before I continue, um, this webinar should take uh, no more than about 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 to 50 minutes. Um, so hopefully we'll all be able to uh, take part for the full, uh, the full time. Um, okay, so um, firstly, um, to uh, load up a drawing, what you can simply do is, uh, there are a number of different ways that can be done, either by uh, by the menu bar at the top, you'll see the option image. Um, if you click on the image option, you'll then see uh, a, a subsequent uh, menu item called load image. This can also be activated. Sorry, this can also be activated by using the shortcut keys Control I. Um, so I'm just going to click on that, and. Um, what uh, you can do is, um, sorry, Bert, let me just have a question from John. Um, just um, set the audio option, John, if you can hear me, and um, to uh, mic and speakers. Um, Setting that to John. Just Bert for two seconds. Okay. Um, so when you click the, the load uh, image icon, uh, what you'll get is uh, a list of the images that you've currently uh, or you've previously used. Now I'm just going to untick these two options because what I want to do is I just want to show you uh, what this option does when you haven't any images previously loaded. So I go image, load image, and then you get a, a browse dialog box that will allow you browse to the location of your drawing file. Um, as I say, whether it be a card file or other subsequent image type file, a PDF, bitmap, and so forth. So I'm going to uh, locate, oh, by the way, it will default into the BuildSoft folder ESW, although you can use your uh, browse options here to browse to whatever location the drawing file is located. I'm going to use this demo home, and uh, I'll just highlight it and click open. It then loads that into um, my image list, um, and you can have multiple drawings um, in your image list. Obviously, you can display only one at a time, um, but you can have, as I say, a, a, a complete list of various different drawings that you would be using. To show uh, a particular drawing on your list, you just place a tick in um, the Show column, and then click OK. And up onto your screen, then, will come the drawing file. Um, before we begin doing a takeoff, um, I'll just uh, 
show that on the status bar here, um, you would select initially the type of takeoff that you want to do. And in this instance, we're going to do an area. So uh, I'll leave that option as area. Uh, I'll move over uh, and to the color options. Um, so I will select a line color of uh, orange, a line thickness. Again, you can select a shade color and a shade pattern. Um, then um, moving from there um, over onto uh, the right hand side of the status bar, there are a number of options here um, with regard to uh, the type of return. As in BuildSoft, you can have an exact return, round up, round down, round to nearest. I would recommend uh, when you're using the BTOS module to have that uh, automatically selected to exact. Uh, bear in mind that these results will be returned into a calculation sheet for BuildSoft and there may be a rounding applied in there as well. So um, it's best to return your results out of ETOS in uh, an exact mode. Um, okay, um, what I'll do then is um, this particular drawing, as you can see, fills the screen quite well. However, um, some of the drawings that you may be dealing with uh, may be quite far zoomed out. So what you need to do in that instance is use one of the magnifier uh, icons on the toolbar to uh, possibly zoom in on uh, a section of the plan that you want to initially work on. So there are four magnifier icons here. Uh, the first one being zoom in one step, zoom out one step, zoom in on a selection you decide, and then the last option here is to restore the original view. So what I'll do is um, I will use this uh, third option, which is the most commonly used, which is zoom in on a section. So when you click on that icon and you pull away, you'll see that you get uh, a little Z type uh, cursor. What this allows you to be able to do is zoom in on a section of the particular plan. Now uh, how it works is you can start uh, really anywhere you want, top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left, whatever, whatever um, is easiest for you. You click and hold the left mouse button and you get uh, an uh, XY type cursor. Whilst holding, you drag and then when you have the section uh, zoomed in uh, or, or highlighted, you let go and it zooms it into that particular section. Now if you make a mistake and you zoom in the wrong section, the easiest thing to do is to just hit on the restore original view and it will bring you back from whence you came. So just to repeat that then, if we go to zoom in on a section, it allows you to be able to click on it, move away, click and hold, drag and let go. And it will zoom that section up. So um, to take off uh, an area of the study here, simply uh, all you do is you move to the first point you want to begin. And you can begin anywhere. Uh, you want, and what you notice is when you move the cursor toward the point, uh, the system will latch or latch onto that point automatically for you. You can see as I move the cursor closer to that point, uh, I don't have to get to it exactly. Uh, once uh, you are close, it will grab that point automatically, and you can see there's a little green box um, that latches onto that point. When you left click, the line, the first line will latch directly onto that point. You then move to your second point, click, third point, click, fourth point, click. Now when you're um, trying to close your shape, you cannot do it manually. You can't click on the last option here. You use um, uh, the J button on the keyboard, J for join. Um, so I just hit that J on the keyboard and it closes the shape and you can see the result then is returned into uh, the status bar at the top of the screen.